Have you ever felt like you just didn't matter, that you were somehow overlooked, or you just weren't wanted? You want to step out, you want to be included, but you find yourself shrinking back from true relationships because you're afraid of being hurt and rejected. We're on day five of my Bible study, Healing the Father Wound, and today we are going to look at the fact that Jesus calls to him those he wanted. The scripture for today is Mark three thirteen. Jesus went up on a mountainside and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. And that is in the NIV. And I really want to look at that word, wanted. Jesus called to him those he wanted. And in the Bible study, we look at some other scriptures as well. One of those is John six forty four, also in the NIV. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. No one can come to Jesus unless the Heavenly Father draws him. That means that you were noticed by your Heavenly Father. You were noticed and cared about so much that he wanted you to come into the family of God. He noticed you. He hasn't forgotten you. He drew you to himself. And we also look at John 6.37, also in the NIV. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. When you come to Jesus in your brokenness, in feeling like everyone else has it all together but you don't, when you feel depressed, when you feel that heaviness upon you, when you know you've messed up or made mistakes, when you come to Jesus with those things, he will never drive you away. I know the book is called Healing the Father Wounds, so I know that some of us have had father figures that have driven us away, that we've come to and they've made us feel unwanted. But that's not who our Heavenly Father is. He will never drive us away. He's waiting for you to come to him, to talk to him. Even with all the things you struggle with, you don't have to fix yourself first. You don't have to fix yourself first. He has drawn you to himself and he will never drive you away. Psalm 139, 17 through 18 in the New Living Translation. How precious are your thoughts about me, O God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. You are thought about. God sees you. He has not forgotten you. You are not an afterthought. His thoughts about you cannot be numbered. He loves you so much, he drew you to himself, and he will never drive you away. Can I pray for you today? I pray, Father, for my dear sister in Christ, that you would heal her from being unwanted, overlooked, or abandoned, Father. Any place where she has felt unwanted or alone. I pray in the coming days that you would speak to her heart in a special way about how much you love her and how you drew her to yourself because you have chosen her to be your daughter. Help my sister in Christ to grow in her confidence of being loved, wanted, and cherished by her Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Next week, we'll be touching on day six of my Bible study, Healing the Father Wound. And if you want to follow along, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get your copy.